Hi everyone and welcome back to Learn at Home with Mrs. Jones. Today we are going to play a quick and easy math game. All you're gonna need for this game is a deck of cards like this. So go see if someone in your family has just one deck of cards. If they do not have a deck of cards, then you're gonna have to pause this video and take a moment and make your own deck. So what you need for your own deck of cards, I will write out a little list of everything you'll need, but you'll need to cut out a piece of paper that they're all about the same size. So maybe if you have index cards or you can ask your parents to help you cut out some pieces of paper and I will make a list of all of the game cards you will need inside there. Basically, you're making your own deck of cards. Now, some of you probably already know how to play War, where you go ahead and you each have an equal pile and you flip two cards and you see who has the bigger card. And whoever has the bigger card takes it and they get to keep it on their side. Now, we are going to play War like that, except we're playing Addition War. So I'm gonna flip the camera and I'm going to show you how you're gonna play and I'll show a little video and explain how it works. So once you have your deck of cards ready, you'll be able to go ahead and play this game with a partner and see who the winner is. Okay, so the first step is to make two equal piles. Each player has their own pile and they need to have the same amount of cards. Now, instead of like regular war, this addition war, you have to flip two cards at a time. And what you have to do is the cards that you flipped over, you have to add them together to find the sum. So let's see, nine plus eight, this sum is 17. And the other player sum nine plus three is 12. 17 is greater than 12. So they take all of the cards. Students go ahead and flip again. They add their cards together and see which one is higher. Now for addition war, all face cards I say are 10. So here I have a queen and a king and 10 plus 10 is 20, six plus four is 10, 20 is higher than 10, so I take those over here. By now you pretty much get how to play. Let's flip over two more cards. King, a king and a two and a 10 and a two. Both of those equal 12. This is where we bring in the regular war rules. And the way I've always played is you do one, two, three because it spells out war w a r and then you each flip over just your top card and see which one is the winner which one is higher an ace or a two now before you play this game it's important you decide are aces going to be 11 or are aces going to be one when i usually play in my classroom i always say that aces are a one so in this case the two is the higher number and they are the one that are going to take all of the cards, even the ones that haven't been flipped over yet. Once you reach the end of your pile, you take all the cards that you collected that you stole from the other partner, you shuffle them up and you start again. So this time, instead of starting with equal piles, you each only start with the piles that you had collected. The game is over when one person runs out of cards and the person who stole them all is the winner of war. If you have any older siblings or older students, you can also play this as multiplication war instead of addition. You will play the exact same way, but instead of adding the two cards that you flip, you will multiply them and see which one is higher. So your job right now is to go find a deck of cards or make one yourself, find a partner and play addition war. I hope you had fun with this math game and I will see you soon with more activities to try at home. Bye.